Hey everyone, this is uh, Wolfus here, uh, Kage Wolfus, now known as in my uh, role playing, my Naruto role playing game uh, as uh, Name Kage. Uh, I've decided uh, we have our new land village in our mythical, our made up story in the Naruto, and our own made up hidden village, completely original, except for the land. Uh, country which is in the Naruto storyline so let me let me uh, just show you right now uh, so I'm going to show you uh, our new uh, uh, basic story background our, our, our land nation in our hidden village and on top of which at the end I created the uh, narrow Naruto chat room and I'm going to show you guys how to join uh, for those of you who are Naruto lovers and specifically who play Naruto X Barto Ninja Voltage Especially for those of you who are in my guild, please watch this entire video uh, for those of you who are in my guild so you could see how to uh, join my chat room, which, you know, I'm trying to get you guys in, uh, in there so we could all communicate better. So uh, stay tuned towards the end because, I, like I said, I'll show you step by step how to easily join uh, the Naruto chat room with uh, uh, others and uh, also those who are in our guild in Naruto X Barto Ninja Voltage. But... Let me show you guys now our new uh, backstory now. And the guild name will be changing soon. <clears throat> Let me take it all the way to the top. This is a this is the chat room by the way. This is the Naruto open chat room. Okay. Take it to the top. So, the first member of our guild, of our hidden village. Marcus, Ninja Village, Sh Shayokagor, which means hidden tide from the land of waves. And you can see our headband symbol, completely original, represents waves. Excuse me, it represents tides. It's our own personal uh, headband. I completely made it up. The only thing that's not made up is the Land of Waves. That's in the Naruto uh, world. It's canon. Next on the list is I Will Carry. Ninja Village Shagagor Hidden Tide from the Land of Waves. And there's me, yours truly. Name Kage Wolfis. Name, which is uh, Japanese for waves of the Land of Waves. Kage meaning shadow. So, altogether, it's called the Wave Shadow. The village title, First Lord Namikage, <laughs> retired, semi, founder of Ninja Village. Current Namikage, Lord Second Rui. And that's my guy over here. My right-hand man. Lord Second Rui. As you can see, you could probably can tell this who this character is. I just tweaked it a little bit by clever, uh, clever use of uh, photo editing. So forgive me if I sound a little funny. I just woke up. <clears throat> I just woke up and d decided to do this video. V Village title: Second Namikage. Current Namikage. Lord Second Rui. The last Namikage, Lord First Wolfus, <laughs> retired. There you go. And of course, you get the symbol of Tide on the headband. Now, <clears throat> our uh, Kage hat. That symbol there is the symbol of waves. That Japanese symbol right there on the Kage hat. That's the Japanese symbol for waves. And that and our and our color, the Kage color, is light blue. Not uh blue or dark blue, not to be confused with uh Mizukage. It's supposed to be navy blue or ocean blue. And uh, our typical ninjas uh, general ninjas, what they wear is this type of uniform, 
with this type of flat jacket and with a uh, like I would say dark blue pants so this is yeah uh, with uh, shoulder pads and gloves this is what typically our ninjas look like and of course with the headband on the forehead but my character decides to uh, wear it around his neck like a collar you know how sometimes occasionally some naruto like hidden leaf or other ninjas from other villages generally speaking they wear it around their forehead but sometimes they wear it in in different places especially main characters now the whole uh, um, trench coat jacket, this right here, this is just something that my character wears. But the general ninjas of uh, the hidden tide, the ninjas of the village hidden amongst the tide, otherwise known as, they wear this <clears throat> with this flat jacket, minus the trench coat. That's just my character. And the dark blue trousers long sleeves shoulder pads it's almost like a wetsuit we are a uh, predominantly a, a water-based nation and the backstory of this will uh I'll, I'll make another video of that but this is just the general basics of it yeah i will carry so you know, in some in, in some ninjas, they don't wear the uh, flat jacket and the and the traditional uh, representation uniform. Some ninjas, are like like you know, the hidden leaf, they wear their own clothing. You know what I mean? For for whatever reason, like Naruto, like for some Naruto is never seen with a flat jacket, with a traditional hidden leaf uh, ninja military uniform. So. It's, it's typically like the main characters that like wear their own clothing. It's not really explained in the Naruto world. I mean, once you join the military, you have to join, you have to use the military uniform, right? But uh, they don't allow their soldiers to just wear their street clothes. But for whatever reason, um, typically main characters uh, tend to wear their own style clothing. But, you know, gen the, the uh, generic general consensus of... Uh, uh, the general army of our of our uh, small ninja village. This is what they wear, right? There you go. Carries around a sword like a badass. I will carry. Marcus. Marcus is from uh, South Africa. He's pretty cool. He's a, he's a cool dude. So the flat jacket here. Um, <laughs> I I I don't know. I didn't know how to change it with uh photo editing um uh, maybe i might do that later even though it's cool looking but that's not that's not our flat jacket or maybe i should make it that way but uh, later on with a uh, clever uh, with some form of a uh, fo photo editing app i'm going to change the color his flat jacket and his pants to to fit this you know, uh, uh, not necessarily, not really black, but like a really dark blue, and then and then a light blue here. Either black. Well, this is like a really dark blue, and this is a just a, a light dark blue. So I'll change this. I'll change this later on with uh like I said, to be dark, and then his trousers, like a, like a light dark blue, but I have thoughts that maybe I should, uh, in the story, make the, uh, uniform, the, 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 uh, traditional uniform, maybe I should make it like this, it looks pretty cool, right, but there is no ninja village that has this type of color, so I might, maybe I might make this, uh, this uniform the standard, and then my uniform, the opposite. This is just my specific uniform that is unique to me. 
like the like uh, Saratobi Sensei, the uh, third Hokage. You know, he had his own specific uniform that no one else in the village wore, wore except for him. So I might make this unique just for me. You know, I could go either way. But right now, this is the traditional uniform of our uh, general art, uh, ninjas. So I'll think about it. This looks pretty cool, too. But, you know, I wanted something that represents, like, uh, you know, the ocean. Like the waves. You know, so it's kind of like a wetsuit. Especially with the long sleeves. But uh, anyways, uh, before I I, I, uh, I officially make the standard what the uniform looks like, uh, I'm going with this so far right now, with this type of flat jacket. You can see like a, a little bit, a little bit, not so good quality. Wish I had a little bit more better quality detailed. But we'll see. Anyways. Marcus, there you go. So these are my uh, my most active members, and these are the ones that joined my chat room. Oh, there we go. Now for our village. This is actually our village, a pod. This a uh, hut, if you will, a very large hut. You know, uh, right here. Uh, later on, I'll show better pictures of, of our village. If You can barely see it, but this is the entrance right here. So it's extremely large. Hidden somewhere in the land, land of waves. Uh, in a deep forest where they have very large trees. You know, uh, trees that are bigger than buildings. I've actually seen that before in real life. But um, this is essentially like a, like a treehouse type deal. And, and and those uh those those are actually not not ropes those are actually walkways those are small little bridges yeah now those titty now those titty uh titty <laughs> those tiny little lines are uh you know where my mind was at <laughs> those tiny little lines no those are actually ropes of some sort But those are those are two bridges, walkways, and the entrance and the bottom there. Uh, like I said, I'll, next time when I do a second, a part two of this video, this is part one. When I do a part two of video of this video, I'll, I'll have a better quality so you can see clearly. And those little lights you see, those are actually windows. So this is to show you how large this is. So this is like a a village all wrapped up in a uh, hu uh, a large hut. Or uh, a building, or if you will, a pod. So this is uh, you'll find this in uh, this is actually uh, Zar uh, Zabuza Momochi's hideout, along with Haku. I believe I'm saying his name right. And uh, you'll find that you'll find this episode in uh, Naruto season one, episode six through through twelve, I believe. The uh, the whole Zabuza series saga, if you will. And, you know, in the Land of Waves, where they, uh, the first mission that Naruto and Sasuke, with, along with Kakashi, got outside of the, of the Leaf Village. So after they were defeated, um, and I have a whole entire backstory. I'll, I'll make a part two of this video. But uh, if you paid attention, just to, to give you a summary, to give you a, what, a taste to come, uh, of what's to come, um... Zaba was, Zabuza was building an army to take on the, the, the Mist Village. Remember that? So what happened to that? What happened to that? They, they didn't expound on that story. But I'm going to expound in that story where they didn't. They kind of left that hanging. So after Zabuza and Haku was killed in the Naruto Bridge, um, the rest of the, his guys basically reformed and reorganized and decided to make, instead of uh, going with the plan of attacking the Mist Village, which is just too strong of a nation. And, you know, uh, they decided to make the Land of Waves their home. And this base here, they, they basically, you know what, let's just uh, be satisfied with what we got. So in my story, they have, they have a couple of these, not just one, which is a small city in itself. 
So there's like several pods of these large huts, if you will, uh, in close proximity. In fact, these little bridges, they're attached and they go to these other pods that are off camera, if you will. So there's one of many. I'll go into detail exactly how many and each pod represents something like there's one that's specifically for uh, the academy for, for young ninjas training. There's one specifically for, um, you know, just commerce. There's one specifically for, uh, you know, uh, open visitors if they have any. And there's one specifically for Anbu. Um, that type of deal. You know, there's one specifically for uh, storage. You know, I'll do like a whole background detailed story of it later on. You guys can kind of tell where I'm going with this, so, you know, or what I have plans for. So there you go. This is, technically speaking, we are the, we are the, the smallish, smallish, <laughs> smallest. Remember, guys, I just woke up. So, man, I'm, I'm, as soon as I woke up, I wanted to finish this video. So, you know, bear with me, guys. You know, I, I could start this video over, but I was like, you know what, screw it. You know, this is, uh, I'm just going to go, go through it. And if I talk funny, so be it. But, um, <laughs> and I'm hungry too. I'm about to have breakfast after this. This is really early. If you look at the top left, it's 2.09 in the morning. That's how early it is. I woke up, man, I, ha I was thirsty and I had to pee. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I can't go. I just can't go back to sleep now. So let me uh, finish uh, this YouTube video. So um, that's that for right now. And again, I'll make a part two of this. Land of Waves. Again, you can find the ep this episode in uh, season one of Naruto, not Shippuden, just Naruto season one, episodes six through 12, I believe. A map of uh, Land of Waves, and that's the, that's the Naruto bridge, the finished Naruto bridge, okay? In our, in our village, is somewhere right here that big land mass you know it's 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 protected by a wall around its perimeter and a fence with booby traps when warnings not to not to enter and, and somewhere in the deep forest here right in the middle now not right in the middle but like on the on the uh east side somewhere near the shore because uh y our village you could actually hear the shores or the or the tides, the waves crashing on the beach from a far distance. That's how close we're towards towards the edge. So we're not smack in the middle, but somewhere on the edge on the east side. Okay, so that's the map of uh, Land of Waves. Now the Land of Waves, of course, naturally, if I say again, I didn't make it up. That's in the Naruto world. That's just where our hidden village to which I made up. You know, the whole hidden tides thing. That's completely original. That's not, You can't find that anywhere in Naruto or, or anywhere in some fandom Nar Naruto uh, webpage. I completely made that up. And, I, and I ha if you check my previous videos, you guys could uh, see what I'm saying. Because I like to document, uh, especially in Naruto, Naruto uh, villages uh, that are completely original. So go ahead and check my YouTube. I'll, I'll have uh, a uh, playlist. You can find it in the, uh, the description box or the comment section. So go ahead and check those videos out. And, and, uh, and amongst others, it's like three games that I'm playing. Naruto, x Barto, Ninja Voltage, War Robots, and Call of Duty. So anyways, here's a just a example map where we're at. And again, I didn't make this up. This is canon. This is in the Naruto story. The land of waves, and that little line is the complete completed the Naruto bridge, as it says. <laughs> Not the dark line. That's just pointing it to that small, thin little line. There you go. So technically, we're not only we are the smallest, I, I believe the smallest land country, but we are we're the smallest smallest uh, ninja village. In the entire Naruto world. But the story that I'm going to make is that we have the most powerful ninjas that rival uh, 
There you go. Konoha. Konoha Gagor. Leaf Hidden Village. That we, even though we're small in um, quantity, but we have high quality ninjas that, uh, you know, each individual ninja has the ability, the possibility of destroying an entire village, if not, an, you know, taking over an entire country. So you, you guys get what I'm saying? So that's the story that I'm going to be building. Uh, that we have some high quality ninjas. So nobody wants to mess with us. And basically the water around us is our natural protection. Because we're basically a water-based uh, ninja. And uh, we could manipulate the water to do some devastating stuff. So it's just too much of a hassle to invade our country. That's the story that I'm going to be building. All right, I think I've did this enough. Now let's... Uh, all right, now let me show you guys how to join my chat room. Thank you for uh, sticking with me. <clears throat> for those of you who did. So it's real simple. You just hit the uh, little corner here. Boom. And you see it right here? My Naruto World Open Chat Room online app. You just tap that blue line. That's it. That blue link right there. Or you could go to my comment section. Comment section. Same thing, my Naruto World Open chat room. I, sh I should just put, I should have put my Naruto Open World. That sounds a little bit more better, but anyways. And just tap on that blue link and that will automatically bring you to my open chat room, which is this, which is uh, this right here. You see? This is my chat room. I got, you can see on the top, I got five people here already. So especially those who are in my guild, please join this chat room where we could talk to each other. These are all people in our guild in Naruto, Exparto, Ninja Vultures. Right now it's it's called 321 Wolfus, but I'm going to be uh, changing the name soon. Okay, so there you go. And one more time. So that's how, that's a little bit of our backstory, our new name, our new headband symbol. Uh, our new hidden village, which I made up, Shiogagor, or Hidden Tide, or the village hidden amongst the tide, An another way of saying it. And then, it, of course, our uh, village is uh, from the Land of Waves, which is an actual country in the Naruto fictional story. And here's our top members. So there you go. You have a Kage, Hi, not to be confused with the Mizukage. It's supposed to be a light blue, navy blue, instead of just a normal blue, like I said before. There you go. There's our top members. <laughs> All righty. So this is Wolfus out. Peace.